Today what I thought we'd take a little look at is the screen on the Sony Xperia Z. Um, because I, I've seen a few people um, write a few bad things about it. Um, mostly um, the, the bad things that, that I've read are about the, the clarity when you look at the screen side on. Um, in all honesty, I, I, I don't see too much of a problem. It's like most computer screens and, and flat panel TVs. If you look at them side on, that the clarity is just not the same as when you look at it straight on. And when you're holding a phone in your hand and you're looking at the screen, you're normally looking at it pretty much straight on anyway. But in my opinion, this is, really is a beautiful screen. It's one of the the best looking screens of all the phones I've, I've ever had, and I've had quite a lot. Um, it's better than the iPhone 5, it's better than the the Galaxy S3 and the Galaxy Note 2 in my opinion. Um, one of the, the really nice things um, about the screen on this is the being able to watch movies because um, it is full 1080p HD screen um, so when you watch a movie on it um, here's a bit of Skyfall for example it really is a very very nice picture um, you know I can't see any pixelation, no, no blocking or, or anything on there. A really, really nice screen. The one thing that really annoyed me um, with the screen on, on this particular phone is it seemed to be a fingerprint and dust magnet. So I'll explain what I've done and am about to do. Um, in and it has certainly reduced the amount of fingerprints and dust that you get on the screen. The, the front glass and the rear glass of the phone um, is made by one of two manufacturers. Um, so it's either um, Gorilla Glass that's in there or it's what they call Dragon's Out Glass. Both are very tough um, glass panels um, that offer quite high scratch resistant and are quite tensile um, can, can res resist quite a lot um, but not um, shatterproof um, so if you if you um, drop the phone um, and it hits a sharp object there is always a chance of of the screen shattering so Sony in their wisdom apply a anti-shatter film to both the front and the back of the phone this is the anti-shatter film. It is just like a screen protector. Um, it's a little bit bit thicker, uh, a little bit tougher, and it's heat bonded onto the screen. And as you can see, my, my phone doesn't have the Sony logo up there anymore because the Sony logo is actually part of this, what they call the anti-shatter film. Now it's easy enough to remove the anti-shatter film um, when it's applied on, on the phone simply um, with with a pin or, or a sharp blade, I've got a craft knife here, literally just hook under the corner of the anti-shatter film and then very gently peel it off, off your handset. So once you've removed that anti-shatter film you'll, you'll notice that your Sony logo has disappeared from here which I actually quite like it like that. Um, you need to to clean the the glass itself because there will be some residue of the anti shatter film um something like nail varnish remover um or something very very similar um will clean that screen and it will attract a lot less dirt and a lot less fingerprints than with the the anti shatter film on the glass itself doesn't have what they call an olifobic coating on it which is to re repel the oil and that from your fingerprint so fingerprints will will build up there eventually but they're, they're quite easy to to clean off with a cloth something that you you could do um, is apply a new screen protector to to this glass panel then possibly one that already has an olifobic coating on it an example would be the SGP 
glass tea, um, which does have oleophobic coating on it, so it would be really nice to, to keep nice and easy to keep that clean. In my case, I've just got a cheap and cheerful um, standard screen protector on here at the moment um, for for um, just protection short term um, whilst I'm waiting to arrive from Japan um, an actual oleophobic coating that I'm going to put on the screen itself you, it's just a liquid that you apply it'll only last three or four months um, but there's enough in the bottle to to apply it um, two or three times so that will probably last as long as I keep this handset now the reason that Sony apply this anti-shatter film is obviously that this is a glass panel and whilst it is a high tensile tempered glass glass panel as I said before there is a possibility and we've seen it with the iPhone and, and many other handsets that, that use glass for the screen if you drop it in the wrong way there is a tendency that that, that glass could could shatter so what Sony have done is they've applied this it won't stop the glass from actually breaking but it will hold it together so that it doesn't all fall out and turn into sharp shards that you can cut your fingers on so by removing this you you do open yourself to a little bit of risk if you do break the glass panel but my, my recommendation is just be very very careful if you do do break that glass panel um, again if you put a screen protector on of your own then then it will protect your your fingers a little bit from that but apart from that that screen screen protector does nothing apart from it's it's quite easy to scratch this so people you know might think oh no I've scratched my lovely beautiful screen you haven't you've only scratched a, a sheet of plastic so why don't you go ahead and give it a go on your phone?